Batman, we're finally seeing Forever King's Batman for the first time in this top eight. Go straight in for the environment interaction to steal away the first one. Now, Forever King's Batman is pressure that is relatively unmatched by anyone. Unbelievably aggressive, but very patient. Speaking of aggressive, though, Tekken Master getting that tick damage already in 50%. Good block from King, though. Look at this life is already. Jackson jumping out. That's going to be a confirm. Goes into the vomit. Just wants to get this extended damage. Damage over time ticking away. Big trade for Tekken Master. Every single time Atrocious, though, does manage to get a trade off that lift, it's always going to be in his favor because you're still going to get stuck in the air. And that was a very clean round from Tekken Master. The longer this top eight goes on, the more comfortable Tekken Master is seeming. There's a nice meter burn. 4 3, though. Good prediction just to blow through that. I mean, if you read the 4 2, it's very slow and telegraphed. 4 3 can blow straight through it on a good read. Oh wow, and he uses the retreat from Forever King. Oh, big punish, and he's got decks out. That was a really, really good wager. Not only to save himself from the damage, but to actually really deal with the trade. Actually, he spent two bars, did some guaranteed damage to Forever King. They practically traded a uh, trait for trait there with that clash. Oh, there's a back three attempt though from Forever King. Maybe expected a throw. There's a punish. Bear in mind, grappling hook is fully unsafe by Bloodlift. There's the jump in. Very classic Batman, using that trait to close in the space, making the jump in very hard to anti-air. That's going to be a knockdown. Doesn't want to spin his bar for the restand. There's a full oh, straight no. wake-up, though, from Tekken Master. Oh, big anti-air. Doesn't have wager anymore. There's the combo drop. That could be disastrous. Forever King is a bit of a comeback machine with this character, but no, Dexter stops him from coming in. That really is one thing that Tekken Master does more than basically any other Atrocitus, which is using those Dexter strings to be plus on block. In the beta days, it used to cost a lot more of your trait to use those strings, but now it uses way less, and because of it, it's way more attractive to use those strings for block pressure. So we saw Tekken Master being a little bit dangerous there, because he didn't have a lot of life left in the second bar, but now he has all this red life to go with. Let's not forget, Forever King has used this clash already, so he hasn't got access to that to save himself. But he's building all this bar. Oh, no. oh and he gets a strong overhead. That's going to be tick damage on the uh, Blood Breath as well. It is indeed, and there's the lift. Now, See. bear in mind, it's going to be so risky now again, because you can't really take any chip either. Oh, there's a push block. Oh, into the forward two, that's chip damage. No, really smart push block from Forever King. Going in forward dash, but the trip guard into the guaranteed punch float. And that is going to be game one. No, Tekken Master looking really strong, very comfortable. I think that's a big thing, but do we see him stick with Batman or go back to Black Adam? We might see a Black Adam here. Because um, Batman, I think Batman can definitely compete with Atrocitus, but this is going to be a matchup Tekken Master is just so much more familiar with. Because bear in mind, during the Injustice 2 beta days, he pretty much only ever used Atrocitus. And Batman was pretty much the most popular character in the beta. But at the same time, Forever King, he has got a very good Black Adam. But Batman is definitely his, his best character, right? He's put the most amount of time in Batman. He's played him the most. It's definitely the character he's most known for. So he's going to have that sort of just pure familiarity. Actually quite smart there, Tech Master. Instead of going in for a whiff punish to get a blocked string, use the negative frames of that whiff to guarantee his trait. Oh, there we go. Misses the combo. That's unfortunate. I guess the shield. Big pressure coming in. There's a plus frames again. Forever King trying to do something out of it. And that's going to be a full corner combo. Going in for the lift. Again, down one. The blood tick damage goes down. Again, that backward to a really nice option, but a punish! The bats come out really fast. I believe three frames on point blank. Oh, good air tech though as well, because this is Batman. You can do massive damage, but also end in that restand with a grapple hook if you want. Catches the back dash, it isn't close enough to confirm, so he just moves oh. in with the forward dash. Every single time Tekken Master has gone for this, he's guaranteeing it. That's going to be three oh, ticks! Oh my lord, look at that damage over time! He is just draining away. That's going to be the benefit of getting three of those. I believe you can get even four as well. Oh, lordy lord. That was a lot of damage. Good block in the back, 2-3. Is he going to go for it? No, he keeps it safer. Oh, there's the BMF 4-3. Tries to whiff punish, isn't quite there. There we go, he's going to guarantee that deck star once again. And a lift again at this point. He's got so much of the trait left to work with. And there we go, the BMF 4-3. Knowing that he was going to go for a deck star projectile and plan through it. All oh, that raw low pod, although that is going to do big damage here. There's the back three. Forever King, there goes, goes in for the clash. This should be a little bit of guaranteed life. I don't think Second Master's got any bar. No, he does not. So that's going to be a guaranteed 15% back. Yeah, it's not going to be much harder for really to force anything without that trait, especially when Batman and his character power stopped and ready to go. So, Forever King, a little bit starved on meter at the moment. His uh, trait isn't fully regened yet either. At the same time, has used his clash, but still has plenty oh. of left to work with. But there's the conversion from Tekken Master. I think at this point, Bloodlift, absolutely one of the best trading tools in the game, because you can still get a combo regardless. Uh-oh, speaking of getting a combo, this is going to be big damage. Oh, oh wow, straight into lift. lift, not even a mix-up. Oh, Dexter just disappeared. Oh, but that punch floats. There's the bar to extend it to. What's the Yoki? Bear in mind, meter burn, punch float still does tick damage. That's guaranteed! Not quite! No, he gets the bats out just to get in the way! Oh, there's the delay. Uses the environment oh. to get through the down one, but Tekken Master with a little bit extra patience. 
Now do we see the change to Black Adam, or is he going to stick to his guns? What could be his final match? I think one of the most underrated best tools for Atrocitus is the fact that that Blood Breath does so much tick damage, and it will stack if you can land it multiple times. So we see Meteor Burn Punch Float ending in breath. We see combos ending in breath, and you see the chip on top of it. But we are going to see a swap to Black Adam from Forever King. Now he has to win three in a row now. He is going to go home if he loses this game. So he's going to have to make something brilliant happen with these next three matches. There's that deck star. Once again, that orb just being the absolute, you're not going to punish me. My cat friend is out. Save me. There we go. There's a reach down once again, but just enforcing so much chip damage. Trevor King looking really uncomfortable at the moment. That's going to be another full combo. One blood breath, two. The tick again into guaranteed plus frames. So even without deck star, you can still get two of those blood breaths. Oh, big capitalizing from Trevor King, though, but still massively down on life. Oh, wow! How about that? Just goes straight underneath. There's the cat, disrespecting the plus frames. But unfortunately, even on hit, still connect if you're ready for it. And a very quick match point for Tekken Master on the verge of a 3-0 against Forever King. And this is the first time Forever King was actually able to bring out as well. So we saw the Batman. Hasn't worked out for him. Going to Black Adam and massively down on life here again. But we've already seen the massive amount of damage he can deal with this character. There's a plus frame. This is Tekken Master respecting it. It's very tricky to say that you are sitting on a life lead against a character that does as much damage as Black Adam does. There's only so much it can mean. And just like that, we see him steal away that life bar. And again, even though it's massively down on health, Forever King's able to even this one out. Meter burn, dive kick. Trying to stagger the forward one too, but again gets tagged, but no full combo. Yeah, there's the push block. He doesn't want to take those plus frames at all. He's got whole land straight on the blood lift. I don't think Tekken Master was quite ready for him to get hit by that. So the catch shot did actually knock him out of a follow-up. Nice grab. Really knowing that Tekken Master's sitting there and uh, blocking after that trade. Good call. Good grab, though. But look at the sheer amount of meat that Tekken Master's got. Yeah, no doubt going to spend the bar on this. Is he going to try and get the cat out? Is he just going to go straight in for the pressure? There's the forward two. Hits the mix-up. I was actually very brave going for it without trait, but I mean, bear in mind, if it's a decent 50-50, you don't need trait to enforce it. It's also, just a lot more unsafe. If you've got a lot of bar and access to your clash, you can definitely make yourself less punishable for a mistake. He does have decks. All waste the interaction. you got to look at how much. He's actually got a nice amount of trait left to get a couple more shots. All tries to punish the dive kick, but isn't able to. Uh-oh. There's the low lift. Jumps in. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? He doesn't have access to the air tech. Here comes the meter burn to guarantee the chip damage. And right now it's looking really rough for Forever King on the verge of going home. Oh, and the chip damage is going to be enough to send Forever King out of the tournament. Three games straight from Tekken Master. Oh.